something Could have seen it in your eyes Took a second, but I'm right here Waiting for you with open arms How about you coming close so we can do my place Maybe we can try meeting up by seven You'll be saying over so it's Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new here, uh, my name is Christine and if you are a returning, thank you so much. May God bless you guys. Uh, so today we want to shoot a video uh, what we eat in a day. Yeah, the kids are at home, it's on a Sunday. So I just want to start with breakfast, lunch, then dinner. They are just simple meals that you can cook for your family on a budget, guys. Yeah, so I'll be showing you that and... Um, Please uh, like the video, share, and leave a comment down below. And if you can share this video with your friends and family, kindly do so, so that you can reach 4,000 subscribers and so that the channel can grow. And kindly, when you like a video, you have the channel re be recommended to other viewers, and that way, your channel, our channels get to grow. So if you come in, if you come across any video that you are watching, even for another YouTuber, kindly be liking the videos if you love the content. So let's get started. I'll be starting with tea scones. Yeah, and I just want to make tea scones with white tea. So let's just get started with baking tea scones and then we'll do lunch and then uh, dinner. So I have four cups of flour. Uh, this is uh, self-raising flour. This is the normal flour. This is the flour that I always use in baking. Yeah, to avoid adding baking powder. So this is what I normally use for pancakes and for baking. Yeah, so these, these are four cups. I also have a, a teaspoon of salt. I have two eggs. I have a half cup of sugar. I have some milk. And I have some one cup of margarine and some vanilla essence. So what we'll do, I will start with the dry ingredients. So in the flour, I will just add my sugar. And then I will add my... I will add my sugar and salt and then I will mix them together. I'll put it aside and in my other bowl, I will crack in the eggs. And then I will add my milk. And I will stir. I'm here only because you still won't ever let me go. I'm here only because I'm aware with you is better than all alone. So I'm going to put this aside. And in my, I will take my flour. I will add in my margarine. And then I will mix together until the flour uh, is scrambled, looks like a scrambled flour. Yeah. So I will mix thoroughly together. So I'm going to put my dough on the surface and just press it, then roll it, and later and then I'll cut it into uh, pieces, into smaller round pieces. And in this case, I'm using this uh, bottle. Is it a bottle? I'm using this. Um, I'm using this uh, plastic container actually, uh, sorry. So I'll just go ahead and uh, cut all the pieces, equal pieces, as I lay them on the tray. 
So uh, then I will go ahead and apply my uh, beaten egg on top. Uh, uh, yeah. So if you don't have this uh, foil, is it a foil or a film? A film, you can always grease your pan and uh, just place the pieces on, uh, on a greased pan to uh, avoid uh, them sticking on the pan. After I'm done, I'm going to put in my preheated oven uh, for 180 degrees uh, for 20 minutes. I'm here only because your stare won't ever let me go. I'm here only because I'm aware with you is better. So meanwhile, as it bakes, I'm going to make my tea and uh, my milk uh, had already started boiling while I had gone to the living room. So I'm, I've added in water and I've added in uh, tea leaves and I'm also adding in some tea masala. So I let I let it boil yeah for some minutes then I added in sugar yeah we always make tea uh with sugar we don't put sugar in the cups yeah we always uh put tea while we always put sugar in tea while it's boiling Guys, one secret of uh, having good tea is to let it boil yeah, on a medium heat for some time. Yeah, just the same way you always saw those uh, concussions for massaging a, 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 an infant. Uh, yeah, so just let it boil like you're boiling that concussion for some time. Yeah, so that the milk and the water can mix together to, plus the sugar and the leaves. Tea leaves can mix together so well. Yeah, and that's that way you will have a very good tea. So I'm going to pour it in the flask and then uh, serve ourselves. So my tea scones are ready and these ones they will have it for today and uh, maybe the next two days also uh, because there are many so i'm serving myself uh, and i'm just adding a banana yeah bananas are always on season so you can always add a fruit of your choice if you can if you have it yeah if you don't have any fruit you can just have them with tea just like that uh, not necessarily milk tea but also strong tea yeah or uh, juice yeah <laughs> So the next meal is uh, our lunch and uh, normally when the kids are in school, I rarely cook lunch in this house. But when they are on holiday, guys, and we don't have leftover foods in the fridge, I have to make something for them. So today I'm just making something simple. You know, uh, the month is at the corner, but uh, yeah, we have to get some food for them. So I've, uh, I've washed these sweet potest potatoes, yes, and I'm going to boil them, yeah. Not a saint, you mad Your sugar-coated doll is not so pure, my bad I don't give up You stepping on me and the comma mama Touch you better than that You mad I guess you are mad Wore my best pajama for this drama Why you talking like that? Like that? Like that? 
So after a few minutes, they were ready. Uh, and so I proceeded to mashing them. And I tried using this potato masher, but it wasn't working well. So I opted for an, a normal uh, cooking stick, the one we use to cook ugali. So that is the 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 muiko I used to mash, but I added in uh, beans, yeah, already cooked beans. And this is like mokimo, uh, the way uh, the kikuyu called it uh, but in our native uh, language we call it musonye and it's a traditional meal that we used to have it when we are growing up it's um, mostly found in the western part of kenya if i'm not wrong yeah that because uh, this is what we used to eat so much and it's a very strong meal so i'm going to mix them together and just mash properly until it's well mixed up So I'm just going to serve and uh, you can see it is, I made a lot of it. Yeah, even though uh, we just ate all of it, it got finished guys. And uh, it's always so sweet. If you've never tried this, you can try it and you can have it with strong tea, uh, milk tea or uh, even coffee. Yeah, or uh, you can have it with juice. But uh, when we were growing up, we used to have it with mostly strong tea. Yeah, because it's also sweet. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to serve my myself and the kids. I'm not a saint, you mad. Your sugar coated doll is not so pure, my bad. I don't give up. You step in the So for me, I decided to do this with some uh, some little yogurt. Yeah, and then I also accompanied it with some sauce that was just lying in the fridge. Yeah, we hadn't finished our last time sauce, so that is what I took for lunch. You know that I ain't coming back, I'm sorry. Read my lips, you turn on like that, you're drowning. So later in the evening, uh, we went and uh, bought some veggies just uh, around uh, our estate. Yeah, just in our estate. There are some mamas who sell uh, vegetables there. So we bought a uh, cow piece that is kunde and um, renda. And uh, we made them. And so I was just washing them uh, clean and, and, and cut them into smaller pieces ready for cooking. So let me shout out one of my fans. Uh, her name is Brooklyn Blazy Achola, eight years old from Kilifi, and her mom Doreen. Yeah, thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much, uh, Brooklyn, uh, for your amazing support. Uh, I really love you, girl. Uh, may God bless you, and uh, may God bless your life so much. May God bless your mom and your family so much. I appreciate you guys for the support you're giving me. Thank you. 
normally in this house on Sundays we don't do much yeah especially when the kids are on holidays there is no much to do because um, most wa most uh, cleaning uh, is done on uh, Saturdays on Fridays yeah during the weekday so Sundays uh, mostly is just a relaxing day at home yeah so I this day I just did the cooking part only I didn't I, I didn't even do any cleaning in the house and because Nicolette is around she was doing the cleaning of the utensils and uh, all that I'm not a saint you might your sugar coated doll is not so pure my body I don't give up you stepping on me and the come on mama touch your body so this is how I usually cook my mrenda. I put a uh, little water on the sphuria and then uh, when it starts boiling, I add in uh, salt and uh, magadi. Yeah, you can use you can use magadi, you can use baking powder or you can use the traditional uh, magadi which is called msherecha in our language. Yes. So I'll mix it together and then put my veggies inside and just let them cook until tender. So I decided to transfer the the vegetable spot on the other uh, burner and here I wanted to make my omena and uh, so I already put uh, some oil, little oil on the pan and uh, some onions uh, so that they can cook before I put in my tomatoes. So I will add in tomatoes and then I will add in uh, garam masala, curry powder, uh, some salt and some cumin powder. Yeah, just uh, like a quarter, quarter spoon each. Yeah, I uh, don't use a lot of it, guys. Yeah, just just use very little. I also added in some garlic powder and just stir and then cover it to cook until soft. So after that, I will add in my a little soy sauce. Uh, then I will go in with my uh, green pepper. And then I will put in my omena and stir together until it's mixed well. So today I didn't have any, any tomato paste. So I didn't use any. I just used onion alone. So I will add in my omena and stir them very, very well. Yeah, I'm on my way home. I'm no good for you, so I drive around Manhattan. They're all laughing. Oh, I'm tragic. So I'm going to add in my coconut cream and just add in a little bit of uno powder. Uno powder is just like grounded, uh, grounded ground nuts. Yeah. So I will add in a little bit and then add in uh, just a little bit of water and uh, cover it to cook. Oh, you. So for my uh, meals, I always transfer them to the smaller uh, to the smaller burner so that they can cook uh, slowly on low heat. Yeah, and uh, so on this other um, so now I I want to make my merenda because it's ready. So I will go in with my little oil. And if you have noticed, if you follow me, I always use very little oil. I don't like uh, oil floating on my on my food. So when cooking, I always use very, very, very little oil. So I will saute my onions until tender. Then I'm not going to add 
any other thing in this um, render. I'm just going to use onions and two Royco cubes. So I'm adding in my render and just stir them so well, so well. And then I will add in my two beef Royco cubes. Yeah, and uh, I had some milk left from the from the teaspoons that I was cooking. So I added in that milk and covered it and let it cook on low heat for uh, like 10 minutes then it was ready oh, you. I a tree, you better than that and make you feel like I did in the past oh, I want to treat you better than that I don't need to forget you I need a tree, you better than that and make you feel like I did in the past oh, I want to So let's now make a uh, ugali guys because we can't have uh, vegetables with with no uh, starch. So our starch today is ugali guys. So uh, this is my favorite one of my favorite meals uh, ugali and omena plus mrenda. That this is one of my favorite favorite meals. I can do ugali any other day from Monday to Sunday guys without getting bored as long as I have uh, vegetables. Uh, even Brenda alone, I can do it daily, guys. Yeah, so this is one of my favorite meals in this house. <laughs> So my veggies are ready my mrenda is ready guys yeah you can see how it's looking so yummy and so thick yeah and um my my omena is also ready guys and this is how i exactly wanted it and uh, guys this food was so 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 yummy you. It's now time to serve ourselves, guys. So uh, those are, that is what we ate today. Yeah, just simple meals uh, for a family of uh, five. Right now we are six in this house, but uh, our normal number is always five, but we have a visitor. So this is our meal today. And uh, so thank you so much for watching till this far. And please, guys, like the video, share, and leave a comment. And if you have watched till this far, thank you so much. If you are watching and you haven't subscribed, kindly, kindly, kindly subscribe and do not skip the ads click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i post a new video guys goodbye see you in my next one guys